Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what do you think? Is this the end for the Scottish independence and Hamza Yusuf? Oh, sadly, I don't, I don't think it's the end of the SNP and, and Scottish independence, uh, you know, but they're both seriously wounded and they won't be back on their feet for some time. But the other good news is when a leader says they're not resigning, this normally means they'll be gone very soon. And I really do agree with uh, Lizzie and Matthew. There is a wonderfully high chance that Hamza useless, sorry, Yusuf, uh, will be gone very soon. The man is a walking disaster, hilariously slow, and polling from the great Professor John Curtis shows that he's a deeply and increasingly unpopular politician in Scotland, even among SNP voters. You know, it's very unlikely he will survive these two no-confidence votes, especially he's relying on support from the, you know, loopy Greens, who he just dumped, and Ash Regan, who he said there was no great loss when she quit the SNP. But I will say this, I wonder what Matthew thinks of this, and Lizzie, he is a desperate man in a position of weakness, who also happens to be useless at politics. So I think there's a good <laughs> chance he will make huge, very appealing concessions to get the support he needs. But even if, you know, even if he survives this no confidence vote, it's still not looking really good for the SNP, it's, especially it's if Hunter looking. stays in place to fight the election. Mm, it's well, been it's, scandal after disaster after shambles. He's a disaster, isn't he? He's a disaster. Lee Harris, thank you so much. Yeah. Really good to talk to you.